Hi everyone, Niklas Seidloff here from IBM and OpenNTF. Today I'm going to demonstrate the new mobile controls um, that are part of the XPages extension library starting with the versions in October 2011. These controls are very different from the controls in the OpenNTF project XPages mobile controls which has been available for more than a year. The biggest difference is that these new controls have been implemented as library controls and as such they can be deployed as um, the rest of the extension library as OSGI plugins globally to a Domino server. So you don't have to copy and paste custom controls or other resources in your databases. Um, the new controls are also significantly different from the versions in the extension library before October. Um, we've added new functionality, changed some naming um, and also changed some interfaces. The new version is now the, the first real candidate to be included in a feature pack in, uh, based on 8.5.3 um, later this year. Um, also the new controls require 8.5.3 um, and 8.5.3 comes with Dojo 161 which is heavily used here. The controls work on WebKit based um, platforms or browsers at this point we're focused on Android and iPhone and or iPod. Um, later we want to do other platforms and also tablets. Um, so there's a couple of examples in the um, extension library sample um, application xpages.exe.nsf um, which you can see here the mobile tab and um, here's some samples for the iPhone and there are some more samples for Android. Uh, what's important to note is that at this point you cannot run these um, samples in Firefox or IE but you need to use a WebKit based browser like Chrome or Safari or even better use a simulator or even better um, use the actual devices. So for the purpose of this video I've created another um, set of samples um, where I try to simplify the samples as much as possible and in this first part now I'm going to walk you through the functionality and in the second part I'm going to show how I've actually implemented these different um, things. So next I'm going to demonstrate the functionality of these controls. So here on the left side we have an iPhone application. You can have static lists of items, different types of transitions like a slide transition or a fade transition and a flip transition. Um, there is an outline control with nested items and regular items. Uh, you can also use a tab bar to navigate. Here are the different panels. Um, and obviously we can render um, views from notes databases. You can have these flat lists here you can load more view entries. This is basically um, a mobile version of the pager. You can also open the documents from here. Um, you can also display categorized views and you can use all the view filters as in regular um, desktop user interfaces. Like in this case we display only the entries from one category. You can also create new um, documents which I will show, show later. Um, there's different types of headers, like a tab bar that I showed earlier, you can also put here in the header. Um, and what else? you can also add your own buttons here in the action in the header. Like in this case we um, um, open another page. And um, I have some other um, samples here that show how to use other dojo controls and your, how you can implement and extend your own controls. Like in this case we display um, the orientation um, and here's another um, sample that shows how you can do a full text search. So let's just say I filter here. I guess, as you can see um, the filtering happens here dynamically. Um, uh, it's very convenient and uh, to use. And then here on the right side we have um, an Android simulator. It's the exact um, same application, the exact same code, um, but with the Android look and feel. And I'm not gonna go through all the different details here, but it's essentially the exact same functionality 
with a different look and feel. In the second part now, I'm going to explain how you can actually build these mobile applications using XPages. So let's, let's switch to Designer. Now the very first thing you need to understand is that the whole application is on only one X page, uh, which you can see here, the X page M. Um, you can ignore these other two for, for a second, I'll talk about them later. Um, and on this one X page is a new control um, called single page app that you can drag and drop here from the palette. And that includes a list, a list of other controls called um, mobile pages that you, again, you can drag and drop from here. And when we look here um, at the outline, um, we can see that there's, as I said, one single page, uh, one single X page with a list of mobile pages. Now, the reason why that is important is so that things like tran transitions can work. Um, however, it has some impact on how, how to handle URLs and how to do navigation. In order to uh, show that, let me switch li uh, quickly switch over to um, my Chrome browser here. Um, and now this is my one and only X page. And when I click here on views and open another mobile page, you can see that the URL, the, the first part stays identical and only the content behind the hashtag is different. And this is now the complete URL that you can also bookmark. And when I open documents from here, uh, you can see that the document ID is passed in um, and other parameters as well. Um, but essentially everything is on, on one X page, as I said. So um, let's go back to Designer. Now I talked about these two really core controls, single page app and app page. Um, there are some more mobile specific controls, um, but there are also some controls like the outline control, which um, also exist for, um, the, for, for desktop user interfaces. Um, however, they have a different rendering when they are used on mobile devices. Now, in order to tell that control that it should render differently, there are two ways to do that. You can either um, define here another renderer type um, to mobile outline navigator. Um, but in this case, we don't even have to do it. Um, I can remove this here um, because I've done this already globally in the um, xsp.properties file. Um, right here, you can set a page prefix so that um, the XPages runtime knows that um, that it should use that it should not use the standard theme that you defined here in this database um, for these um, for the pages that start with this prefix. Now, in this case, we only have one page, but you could also have M1, M2, whatever. Um, and at the same time, when you open this database in a in a in a desktop browser, you get in this case here the One UI version 2.1. So when we open this here, desktop page. Um, when I open it here in Firefox, you can see that this is the, the 2.1 um, One UI style. There are a couple of other things that you need to understand when it comes to styling. The mobile controls come with two themes out of the box, a theme for iPhone and another theme for um, Android. Now by default, these um, themes are assigned automatically based on the user agent. However, you can also override that. So when we switch here to designer uh, in our xsp.properties file, you could say, for example, on Android, you want to use the iPhone um, theme and also um, vice versa, potentially. So when we save this now and I open here the same application in Chrome and simply do a refresh, you can see that I get my iPhone look and feel now here in my um, Chrome browser and on Android platforms. You can also use your own styles by overriding the styles that come with um, XPages and Dojo out of the box. Um, here's another sample. I've created another very easy application, one page application with two mobile pages in there. And um, all I've done here is to override um, these two tags. Um, so let's see how that looks in the UI. Now this is the application. This is page one and, and here's page two. Um, and in order to do that, um, I suggest to use um, the Chrome developer tools that you can launch here via uh, tools and then developer tools. 
and then you can pick your element of choice that you want to change and then you can define here or play around here with the settings here in the in the right column let me now talk about how you can implement um, mobile applications and how you can use these controls so um, I'm gonna start with this sample application with the home page of the sample application at the top we have a header mobile samples and then we have an outline control with regular items and nested, uh, nested items. Um, so let's switch in, uh, to designer. I talked about the single uh, page app and the um, app page already. Um, each application page has um, two key parameters or properties, the ID and the page name. And these are especially the page name is important um, to, to do the navigation between the different mobile pages. I'm going to talk about that later a little bit more. And there are some more properties, optional properties. Um, let's see where are the views um, right here. Um, one is preload, um, which as the name says, um, preloads um, a custom control or a mobile page or not. Um, for views, that doesn't make a lot of sense. For other rather static content, uh, content, it does, so that you don't have to go back and forth so many times. And there is a second um, property called reset content. Uh, which is particularly useful for uh, dynamic views for example where you create a new document and want to see the new document showing up in the view because if you don't set that property um, you just go back to the view content as it's already available in the DOM so basically cached and you wouldn't see the new document until you do an explicit refresh of the the page in the browser um, so keep that in mind when you implement um, or when you define your pages now for the um, for the first page here, um, we start with the um, header at the very top. We give it a label, mobile samples, and then we have the outline control. As I said earlier, this is the same control that you can also use for desktop applications. Um, and it has things like um, basic leaf nodes um, and the container node for, for the nested items. And in here for each leaf node, you can define um, a label and to define the href and what's important here is the um, the hash sign uh, which tells it to to stay on the same page if you don't do that um, you would jump to another page and you would see the flickering um, in in your um, user interface moving back to the sample application there's another control that i want to briefly describe it's called line item line item has a label it can have another label here in the right column and you can transition to other mobile pages. So let's take a look um, how that has been done in Designer. Um, there's another new control called um, yeah, Dojo Mobile, um, Dojo X Mobile line item. It has an ID and a label. It can have this um, uh, right label and you can define uh, target pages you want to transition to and you can define the uh, transition type um, and you have these three uh, choices that I um, showed earlier um, then going back to the sample application um, there's another powerful control it's called a tab bar um, and it uses another control called dynamic content so here I can um, switch between my two different panels and dependent on which one I choose um, other content is uh, displayed here at the bottom so let's take a look at that. Uh, it's in this other uh, custom control called M tab bar. Uh, let me open this here. So again, you have the header at the top, and then you have this control tab bar, um, and you have um, these two tab bar buttons, one and two. You give it a label, and you define what should happen when you click it. And in this case, we just um, use a new um, simple action. Uh, which is called change dynamic content action and we say um, you know, which dynamic content and to what, uh, to what facet and the dynamic content is what is defined here in this dynamic content control that again has already existed in the extension library it has this ID uh, which is the same one as here uh, dynamic dynamic and here you define change to um, facet with a key panel 2 and this is what you see here, panel 2, and this is panel 1. And this is very powerful, um, again, because 
you don't have to switch between real um, pages, but you can um, switch the content within one page, page, uh, page um, very easily via Ajax. A very powerful control is um, the data view control. Um, and I showed already earlier these samples. This is a flat view. You can scroll down and you can load more. Uh, we can also navigate back and open here a categorized view. And we can um, open a particular category in a view. So let's see how that has been implemented. Um, it uses another existing control um, called the data view control, but again with a um, renderer specialized for mobile devices. And in here you essentially define um, first of all your data, a domino view. So it's just um, a domino view name of the same database. Um, and you define the summary column, which is um, what appears um, in the main area of this view entry. And then you can also have so-called facets or one facet here where you define a panel um, with um, a text um, control in there that displays the abstract, which is another um, column in that view. And then at the bottom here you define a link and this link says load more, which is essentially this, this new pager. And as an action you define here or you use another predefined simple action that is called add rows and all you do here is to define the amount of new rows you want to add. Then the um, second sample showed this categorized view. Now this is really almost exactly the same code uh, with just a um, few differences. Main difference is here that you also need to define the category column right here. Um, and then the third sample that I just showed um, was a view um, or was the view that only showed the entries of one specific column, a uh, category, and this is what you see here. Um, the only difference here is that I define a category filter, um, in this case this hard-coded person name. Um, and also you could use other filters like start um, with um, start key or the, um, the search filter, um, etc. In addition to views, you can obviously also um, display and manipulate notes documents. So let op let's open a document, this one here. So this is how the document shows up. And I can also go back and create a new document. Let's say title test author Nicholas and then abstract. I'm going to enter some text here. And as you can see the, um, the text or the line wraps automatically. And when I say submit I can go back to the view and see now my new document right here. Uh, so switching back to designer, this is the custom control for the document page. Again starting with the header at the top and then we have um, a usual um, data source here for a domino document and the control that we use here for the layout is called a um, form table, which again has already existed for in the extension library. And now there is uh, a mobile um, a version special, uh, specialized for mobile interfaces in it. Uh, in here we have our um, form rows um, where we define the, the label and then the input text. And the last field was this and not a real rich text field, but a field um, with um, more content, longer content. Uh, rich text is not possible here, real, real uh, rich text. Instead, we use this um, Dojo text area control, uh, which um, enlarges itself um, if necessary, as you could see earlier. And then um, at the bottom, we define here um, the button with the submit action. It's defined here in this um, facet called um, footer. And in here we use a new um, action called move to, um, where we define the target page, uh, transition type, direction of the transition. We define whether or not we want to save it. And we can also define whether we want to force a full refresh of, of the pages in that application. The last part I want to describe here are um, the different ways to, to do headers. Um, the simple header is just the header at the top with a back button. Um, then we have here the tab bar 
with dynamic content again and we have um, an action button uh, to switch to another page in this case to create a new document so let's go back to designer um, this is the header with a tab bar at the very top we define the um, the actual dojo x mobile um, heading control uh, we define the back label and the page we want to transition to when this um, back button is clicked and then again we have the tab control here with the dynamic content and the dynamic content change action and the other example was the sample where we created or where we um, switched to the page to create a new document uh, which is what you see here the um, header control has a facet um, the key action facet and in here I just put in a button with a specific style and then um, the on-click event and the on-click event I define to switch to another um, mobile page. Okay, so that's basically everything that I wanted to cover today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and um, let us know what you think when you implement your own mobile applications. Last thing, um, there's a contest going on on OpenNTF and um, one of the goals is to produce mobile applications or controls and obviously you can use these mobile controls that I just demonstrated and then you have the chance to win an iPad 2, an iPhone or an Amazon voucher. Thanks a lot for your attention.